Springbok wing Cheslin Colby's journey into rugby is a very different one and it is with that in mind that he decided to launch his foundation to assist those in need. It's five years that we had this in mind and that we just wanted to, to make a difference and, and go out into communities and, and wanting to help wherever we can. I never thought personally I would have been in a position where I am today and with uh, my wife as well. Stepping into purpose is the Cheslin Colby Foundation slogan. It was because of the rugby that we now are here to step into the next level of our purpose, which is the journey of, you know, using talent, using our platform, using what God has blessed us both with, you know, to make a difference. Our core focus areas would be education, sports development and up community upliftment. The Colbys were inspired by the work of the Colisi Foundation. This is actually what it's all about. This is what we want to do. We want to add, you know, value into the community. You know, we, we always praise how much the people of South Africa support us. This is how we give back. I'm proud of Chad and he's proud of where he comes from and he wants to help. The foundation has also the support of both local and national government. We could not have asked in that community for a better role model than Chetlin Colby and his lovely wife. So what I want to say today is that and he's not only a role model for young colored boys, but his story to them has more meaning that you can come from here and become a CK, a Chetlin Colby. And I'm not just going to support him with government funds. I'm going to support him with my own personal money. A couple of weeks ago, I penned a letter to the new Minister of Sports, Minister Gaita McKenzie, where I emphasise the importance of very local grassroots developments. I think we do need the whole of society. Those under-resourced communities need these sort of support partnerships. The communities of Craftfontaine, where Cheslin comes from, along with Balha and Alsi's River, where Leila was brought up, will be the initial beneficiaries before the project is rolled out to other areas. Justin Ford, Cape Town.